what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about scream 6 primarily in this video here today i'm going to try to bring more excitement to my voice because i saw one of you point out that i sounded like i might have been recording while i was at work that's <laughs> not what's happening uh i work from home but i'm currently sick and i was trying to preserve some of my voice uh, but I'm going to put some inflation into it because some of you pointed out that I did sound a little bit more deep My voice sounded more soothing. So I'll just try to be more animated, but I think I'm getting better I've just been sick for the past couple of days uh, But just to again talk about scream six primarily in this video I before I get to that though I want to talk about Chucky season three really quick So we know Chucky season three is officially coming to the USA sci-fi network later this year and we got the announcement yesterday Don Mancini the Chucky social accounts all of that all of that teasing started right before deadline broke the official news and It seems that filming is going to start up rather quickly not that that's shocking but it seems as though they are going to be filming out in toronto once again or at least in canada in general and don mancini has already put out a tweet of the kids lexi Devin, jake all getting together again to go out to where they need to uh we know their names are actually zach bajorvin and uh olivia they are all going to where they need to be i guess in time to start shooting season three i would imagine they're going to start shooting season three of chucky in late march early april sometime um shooting this spring to have it out by the fall and of course by the time i'm seeing it i'm sure they'll still be well in post-production trying to finalize things uh but this tells me yes that they have had something planned for season three for quite some time and they were just waiting on that official renewal announcement from the networks or of course this is stuff they already knew about but they needed to wait to start teasing people about it because this of course is stuff that's being communicated to them we all just got filled in on what they already knew yesterday Don Mancini knew it was renewed the cast knew they were coming back uh the writing seems to have been well underway even post season two for them to just be getting this season out there this fast by the end of this year uh, which to me is a positive because uh, it gives me Scream 6 vibes and a lot of people think that it seems rushed in a lot of ways it, it's not rushed if you were prepping for the inevitable and the inevitable happened so now you get to just jump into what you were already well ahead of which i think is a fine thing to do if you want to be proactive about it be proactive about it and that seems as though what chucky season three is is being because it seems like they're going to be filming rather quickly i did not show the image of the kids only because they are minors and youtube has this thing with minors so i did not want to have this video age restricted or have the comments shut down but if you want any updates on what i'm actually referencing again i will leave a link to the tweet in my description of what don mancini tweeted out that gives me the indication that they're going to start filming this season rather soon in the near future probably late or early march so they can have this season out in the fall which is again promising to be the scariest season yet so we'll see but just to jump into primarily the topic at hand related to scream six scream six is going to have a bathroom kill sequence in which somebody seems it seems is going to get stabbed to death or they're just going to be a lot of bodies in general that end up getting brut brutalized in that in that sequence in this bathroom kill sequence this all was started up by this image you see here on your screen in which this is now a confirmed set image from Scream 6. Now, if you don't want any real spoilers or anything like that, click away if you must or if you don't care, because, again, I will compare this to the equivalent of finding out you need air to breathe or that the grass is green. It's not that serious. I'm going to talk about it. Uh, but this image was something that was shared over the summer while they were filming. Some people started actually sharing, I would say, after filming wrapped, actually. But uh, a crew member confirmed this when it dropped. And this was originally found by somebody who posted on Facebook at one point. So this image, of course, of a bloody bathroom is from Scream 6. Now, a lot of people I saw speculating that this would be occurring during the opening sequence, that this is what the opening kill sequence would be. We know that the tender date aspect is going to factor into that. And I guess the assumptions being made was that this kill sequence regarding a tender date would lead us into a bathroom kill sequence with said individual being brutalized by whoever it is that ends up being Ghostface on this date. 
However, a viewer Anon has actually chimed in to let us know that this sequence with the bathroom is not in the opening. So anything regarding the Tinder opening sequence or anything regarding the Date Gone From Hell opening sequence, it's not going to lead us into a bathroom sequence, it seems like. So what is going on in this bathroom sequence? Who will be the ones that end up with all this blood on the wall? Is this multiple people's blood? Is this one person's blood? Is this going to be our Olivia Morris moment of the movie? Is this going to be our CeCe moment of the movie? Uh we'll have to wait and see now here's here are the most likely people given that in the teaser we do not see liana liberato's character or devin nakota's character those are probably going to be one of the two individuals whose blood this is going to be relating to in this bathroom sequence in the teaser we see melissa barrera we see uh i'll just say the character names we see sam tara mindy people think they see a glimpse of kirby uh, we see Ethan at one point. We see Chad. Now, Ethan is Jack Champion. Now, for those of you asking where is Jack Champion during the teaser, I want to say it's right It's right before we see Mindy getting grabbed. He's standing behind somebody. Clearly, he's all by himself. That's why you probably don't notice him, but he's all by himself, and they show him for a brief instance in the teaser. That's all I really can say to try to help you pinpoint it, but he's in the teaser. The only people we do not see in the teaser are Devin Nakota's character, Liana Liberato's, and uh, who is the other guy? I forgot his name. Dermot Maroney's character. So this could actually be the, the cop's blood if Ghostface has managed to kill another cop. Not that that would be the first time ever because we saw him do this in Scream 4 <laughs> in very brutal fashion. Uh, F. Bruce Willis. So this could be one of those three most likely, but I'm going to go with Liana Liberato's character or Devin Nakota's. This sequence will ultimately probably be one of those two. Uh, it, I will also say this, maybe this is why Mindy seems so distraught on the on the subway teaser sequence we see her in her demeanor compared to everyone else she just seems like she's been through something like as if something tragic has just happened to her. So maybe she just lost her girlfriend in this bathroom sequence. Now, again, I'm thinking her, her girlfriend is going to be Devin. It could also be Liana because again, out of the two that are missing from this teaser in terms of the younger cast. This bathroom kill sequence most likely will apply to Devin or Liana. Uh, how they end up in this sequence, that's going to be fun. This fun to see. This could be happening at a Halloween party. This could be something where Ghostface breaks in and chases them into there. Uh, we'll have to see how this all goes down and what ultimately happens in that bathroom to explain why it's so bloody. But it's not going to be something that's in the opening sequence. That's the primary thing I want to talk about before we started jumping into thinking about who this could be. And logically, who it could be based off who we see in the teaser, because we know it can't be anyone from the teaser. Well, it could be someone from the teaser. That's me making assumptions of what order I see this happening in. I think this bathroom kill happens before the teaser events. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.